All right, let's look at some questions related to our differential analysis discussion and see what we can figure out here. First question, multiple choice. It says the amount of increase or decrease in revenue that is expected from a particular course of action as compared with an alternative is, we have four choices, manufacturing margin, contribution margin, differential cost, and differential revenue. Okay, our first clue is right here in the question. Revenue, some type of revenue is what we're looking at. Well, there's only one of these items that even refer to revenue, and that is choice D. Is that a ridiculously easy question? Yes, it is, but we need to make sure that we understand what it is we're studying. Differential analysis has three components, differential revenue, differential cost, and differential, differential uh, income. Here we're referring to differential revenue. Number two, equally easy. The amount of increase or decrease in cost that is expected from a particular course of action as compared with an alternative is, well, at least here we have four different types of cost, so that's good. Well, let's see here. Period costs, these are just our operating expenses that are non-product costs. Product costs are just that, costs that are incurred in the production of a good or service. Uh, we have differential costs and discretionary cost. As you might guess, our answer is differential cost. It is one of the three components of differential analysis. Let's get into something a little more significant, a little bit more significant. It says, Carmen Company can further process uh, product J to produce product D. Product J is currently selling for $20 per pound and has costs of $15.75 per pound to produce. Product D would sell for uh, $38 per pound and would require an, an additional $8.55 to produce. What is the differential revenue for producing product D? Uh, what about differential cost and finally differential income? Okay, well, these, this is actually pretty simple. Um, if we're looking at differential revenue, all we have to do is take the new sales price minus the old sales price. Differential revenue is $18. Differential cost, all we have to do is grab the extra, the extra cost that we're going to incur. We don't have to do any calculations at all. Differential cost is $8.55. Differential income is strictly the revenue minus the cost And that's going to give us $9.45. So this is a, all three of these are per unit uh, numbers because we don't know how many uh, units we're producing. We just have the per unit figures. So those are going to be our answers. All right, last question on this page says, Keating Company is considering disposing of equipment that had that costs $50,000 and has $40,000 of accumulated depreciation to date. Keating can sell the equipment through a broker for $25,000, less 5% commission. Alternatively, Gunner Company has offered to lease the equipment for five years for a total of $48,750. So Gunter, or I'm sorry, Gunner is going to pay Keating. 48750 over a five-year period. However, Keating will incur repair, insurance, and property tax expenses during that five years estimated to be $8,000. At least end, the equipment is expected to have no residual value. The differential uh, 
income from the lease alternative is what? Okay, so we need to know what, in, uh, what information we need and what we don't need. Uh, we actually don't need what the original cost was and we don't need what accumulated depreciation is. The reason being is that this $40,000 here of this of accumulated depreciation um, reflects depreciation expense that's already been taken. And these are considered sunk costs. So all we have to do here is we have to look at our sale alternative and our lease alternative. And we're going to ignore the time value of money concept, okay? Because that would complicate things further if we consider time value of money. So for the sale alternative, all we have to do is take the $25,000 sales price and multiply it by one minus the commission rate or 95%. And if we do that, I already did the math, darn it. 25,000 times 0.95 equals 23,750. The lease alternative is strictly the 48,750 minus those costs. So we're gonna get $40,750 over a five year period. So, if we were to take the 40750 from the lease alternative minus the foregone 27, or I'm sorry, 23750, we end up with differential revenue from the lease alternative of 17 thousand dollars. All right, that's it for this video. We'll get another one started right away.